Welcome back to lesson number three. In this video, we're going to take a look at some lines, some shells, a fillet, and a dimensioning tool. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's expand the data panel. Let's make sure we're in our Fusion Essentials folder, right? So we can click that home button. We can scroll down until we get to that Fusion Essentials folder that we created in previous videos. So we'll open it up. I'm going to go ahead and save because it's really best practice to save it when you when you first start. So I'll click save. And for this one, we're going to click lesson two. And we can even start getting a little more specific and say revolutions. And we'll make sure the location is Fusion Essentials and we'll click save. In order to maximize that screen real estate, I'm going to go ahead and toggle the data panel because we don't need it right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little goblet. What we'll start with is we'll go to sketch and we're going to click our XY plane. We've got us in there. I'm kind of moving around and zooming around. I'm going to go up here to the line tool right there. Now the shortcut for line is L. So I'll click that and I'm going to start on the origin and just draw a line straight up. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just kind of apply dimensions as I go through it. So this dimension before I click to place the line needs to be a five. I'm going to have to zoom out now because that went off the screen. And remember, you can click your wheel on your mouse and that'll allow you to pan. The top, I'll take a line out here. And let's make that line be two inches. Now I'm going to go to the bottom. And we'll say, all right, well, let's take a line from here out. And let's make that line be one inch in length. And I'll take the line tool again. This time I'm going to draw vertically, and this line is going to be 0.25. There it is. Now you notice the dimension lines are kind of getting in the way. They're a little confusing. So what I'm going to do is just drag them out. So I have nothing selected up here. I'm going to click and hold that 0.25 and just scoot it out of there. And the one inch, I'll do the same. I'm going to click and hold and just move it out of there as well. That'll help less confusion. All right, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see what we've got. Now I'll take a line tool. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say from here over. I want that to be 0.75. There we go. And another line tool will go up vertical. And we'll make this one be two inches. And again, just to stay organized, I'm going to make sure I have nothing selected. I'm going to drag this two and get it kind of out of our way as well. Now you notice I left a gap up here on purpose. I want this thing to be rounded off. So what I'm going to do is use an arc. So to do an arc, you'll go up to create and you'll choose arc. Now there's several different arcs. The most common is probably the three point arc and a center point arc. I want to call this out though. I created a shortcut here, the W created that shortcut. If you actually want to create your own shortcuts, you can click on the three dots. As long as you hover above it, these three dots will show up. And then you can say, pin to toolbar, pin to shortcuts, or even change keyboard shortcut. And you'll start doing that the, the more you use things. So three point arc, I'm gonna click this point and this point. Truthfully, if you would click those in reverse, it wouldn't matter. So I've clicked two points. Now the third point is going to be where this bends to. And it really doesn't matter for now because we're going to dimension it as well. So I've, I've brought it out there and I've dimensioned it. Now you'll notice there's a lot of black lines and one blue line, which means that this line is not fully, or excuse me, this sketch is not fully constrained. So right now I'm still in arc mode, so if I press escape, now if I grab the arc, it allows me to move it. We don't really want that. If I grab this black line up here, I cannot move that. I'm trying to click and drag, it's not happening. We're gonna throw one dimension on this arc. So I'm gonna go up here and click dimension, or you could press D for dimension. I'm gonna click the, the arc, click it, and move your mouse out. And for this particular dimension, I want it to be three. I'm going to go to click finish sketch here. 
And now I'm going to do what's called a revolve. And it's under the create menu. So here's revolve. If it doesn't show, go to create and choose revolve. And really, the sketch profile is the blue part of the goblet here. Okay. The axis, I'll click. Actually, I don't need to click. See how it's already blue. Then I'll click this vertical line I started with. And I'll click OK. Right. So if I rotate it around, if I orbit this, this is what I have right now. So here's something I'll do next. I'm going to go ahead and use, I'm going to hollow it out. That's called a shell. So here's shell. Modify and shell. And I click the face that I want to show it. So I'm just going to click the top of the cup and I'm going to make this dimension be 0.125 and click OK. So now if I orbit that, you see I've shelled it. I've completely hollowed that. Now at the bottom, I'd like that to be a little more decorative here. So I'm going to go up to modify and here's fill it. You can also go to modify and here's fill it. Chamfer is something you'll use quite a bit as well. Here's fillet, so I'm going to click right there on that line. And for this particular fillet, I want it to be 0.75. There it is. And I'll click OK. Last thing, and in order to get graded on this, we want to change the material. So I'm going to right click on the name up here. And I'm going to go to physical material right here. You can see over here, I want to go down. There's a lot of different materials, but I'm going to choose metal. And I'm going to scroll and keep scrolling. I'm looking for one that says gold, and they are alphabetized. After I find gold, I'm just going to drag it over and plop it on there. Now, you may get in a situation where you have to download these first. There may be a little download arrow right over here. That's fine. You just click it, and it downloads right away. Right? So we're actually finished. What we're going to do now is we're going to show our physical properties. So we're going to right click and we're going to go to properties just like we did in our previous video in lesson one. So properties. And this will load up and it'll show those physical properties. And again, these are what we want to show our teacher. Before completely exiting, make sure to click that save icon up there. It might ask you to use a version description. What I usually do in there is I say final version. And press enter or click OK. If we expand our data panel, you can see now we have both of our lessons done.